How you doing guys? Um, hope you're looking forward to getting back to training um, for the next training block. I'm just doing a quick video I'm sending out to you guys to, as a heads up of an exercise I want us to focus on a little bit for the first, at the first few sessions anyway, at least of the next block. Um, so one of the things that, I've, that I remember thinking way back at the start with the eccentric squats and not just squats but a lot of exercises was learning how to breathe while at the same time holding tension through the core. So for example, I think most folk did it better during one rep maxes and three rep maxes because it was faster. So the idea we, and the, the idea is that you, you take a big inhale of breath just before you squat and you hold your breath as you squat and it helps just create that extra bit of intra abdominal pressure. It almost acts like an internal belt to help keep everything really solid through the spine and the lumbar spine and the pelvis um, because it just helps um, keep the tension but you can't obviously do that when you're squatting for five seconds on the way down you can't hold your breath because you very quickly just be constantly gasping for air so and one of the things I think that is, is crucial uh, that it goes beyond just squats is, is learning how to engage your core throughout all these movements um, and create a, a whole body tension through certain movements without holding your breath or to take it a step further trying to learn to dissociate your, your breathing a little bit from creating tension so obviously if, if you want to create maximum tension like that's where the whole one rep max holding your breath a big gulp of air holding it comes in but you can't do that with most exercises so it's about regulating it a little bit so the idea behind this exercise this is a type of a plank exercise is to try and get you focusing on holding tension tension while breathing and the reps we're going to focus on will be the breath reps as opposed to try to hold it for 20 seconds or 10 seconds and um, so the focus on the reps here is actually going to be your breathing rate and i'm hoping that what that does is that if you're so focused on, on, on counting the breaths that without realizing it you're actually creating a, you're also keeping that tension that i'm looking for not just through your core but the purpose of the yoga block is we're going to put it between your sort of thigh area so that you also feel this through like engaging the whole body basically so you're going to squeeze so what we're looking for is you want your shoulders sort of elbows and wrists are roughly pretty much a straight line okay i want you to focus on push the chest out as you know shoulders back and down so what we don't want is a rounded position like this and we want the hips nice and straight so what we don't want is the hips sinking like here so all, all so initially it's getting into that setup so you can practice in the house Okay, so that's your start position. So that is a hard position to hold. So if you're holding this right now, thinking, oh my god, I'm spending this hard holding this, that's okay. You will, okay? It is hard. There's a lot of tension. I can feel the tension in my core quite a lot right now. Partly that's because, I'm going to stop for a sec, partly that's because I've got the yoga block, I'm squeezing it. So automatically, when, you, when you're holding this block in place, it engages all the inside leg muscles around the adductors. Equally, it brings in to get the equation the lateral part of the hips as well as the core. So this has got a really good crossover, in other words, to all movements. So like when you squat and stuff like that, I can only stand up and head out there, but when you squat, the whole idea is that you're keeping the tension through here, but also like through the lower body, obviously the lower body, but through the upper body as well. So if you can perform the plank like this, and it becomes a whole body exercise, and it's about keeping that whole body tension to get into a really strong position. I'm, I mentioned squats, right? That was this my initial thinking of it to do with the breathing side of it. But really, this is also a really excellent exercise to teach you proper form and tension for press ups. So, for example, a lot of people do press ups like this, and they quite they might not get the, the idea or, rec or recognize the fact that a press up is a core exercise as well. So, a press up is a really good exercise too. So, it's about creating that initial tension through the whole body. So this is, in other words, this has got a lot of carryovers to different exercises uh, and uh, different methods in terms of creating tension using your breath. So what I want you to do, I'm going to actually wait and then do it because <laughs> it is really tough. We're going to get into that position I just showed you. You're going to squeeze the yoga block and then I want you to focus on nice controlled breaths like... Okay, not quite Wim Hof style, right? But like in and out, in and out, not rough breaths. I want you to try and take maybe two seconds in and two seconds out, or whatever, like, but just not, and equally not holding your breath. So I want you to focus on very deliberate awareness of like breathing in and breathing out. And I want you to try and do 10 reps, okay? So for example, if you get into the position, 
I also want you to focus on squeezing the block hard. The harder you squeeze it, the harder you see the exercise is. And then from there, that's two. That's four. And again, I want you to keep you focused on. Obviously, I stopped for breathing to talk. But I want you to keep focused on squeezing the block hard. Keep holding the tension, I'm starting to shake, you can feel it, okay? Keep the chest out towards the floor, shoulders back and down. And so on, okay? And you're going to try and, we're going to, don't worry if you can't get to 10 slow controlled breaths without having to rest, that's okay. Or without you feel as though your form is deteriorating. The goal is to try and get 10 good breaths as a, a as a sort of benchmark, and then we'll maybe add, add reps to obviously, while holding that full body tension through the movement, okay, because obviously once you've got a really nice tension, it is, it, right away you've got a really nice like, press up position, which is how it should be, the press up, it's a sort of full body movement, and like I said, I'm hoping that in time, it will allow you to keep tension while you're breathing in and out, as opposed to just holding your breath to create tension through the core and getting that bit of extra abdominal engagement so that when you squat the hope should be that as you squat down you're still able to breathe you don't need to hold your breath for five seconds on every rep that's that's unnecessary it's also very difficult um, but if you get it right you should be able to control the breathing and dissociate a little bit between the breathing and the movement it's the same with sprinting or running so one of the things I've I struggled with for years was probably still do with it actually is when I run fast I start to breathe faster like right? so so it's almost like I breathe at the same rate in which my arms move which is mental it's not that's not how you do it the, the best sprinters especially over 400 meters if you watch them like watch back you'll notice that their breathing rate isn't the same as their like the arms like in the legs they're able to focus on their breathing and keep the breathing rate they dissociate the breath from the stride rate. But it's a very difficult skill to learn. Uh, and so that's kind of my thinking behind this, this exercise and some of the benefits I'm always going to carry over to various different parts of movement and things like that. Okay, so anyway, that'll do.